In this tutorial, I want to show you how to do a traditional walk cycle using a stick figure. You can see on the screen here, I have four different poses that we'll need to create this walk cycle. We're going to start with the contact pose. This is where both feet are contacting the ground. From the contact pose, we're going to then go to the down position where both legs are bent and the body is in its lowest position. After that, we're going to go to the passing pose, and this is where the back leg now crosses in front of the leg that is planted on the ground. And then after that, we're going to go to the up pose, where we have one leg planted on the ground, and the other leg is a little bit higher up in the air. Notice how the arms are at their highest position in the down position, and they're at the lowest position over here in the up. And then on the contact and passing, they're kind of in between those positions. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm just going to take the default settings for Action Script 3, 550 by 400. Frame rate is going to be 24 frames per second. All right, so I'm going to start on layer 1 here. I'm just going to call this Ground. And then I'm just going to take my uh, paintbrush here. I'll make sure the color is set to black, and I'll just hold down Shift, draw in a line. Okay. So I want to establish the ground uh, plane where the character is walking, okay? So now I'm going to go to from frame 1 to frame 25. I'll right click, insert a keyframe, all right? So from here, I'm going to lock this, all right? Now I'm going to create a new layer right here, and this will be my character. All right, so then I'm going to make sure I go to frame 1 here, take my paintbrush, and now I'm going to start to draw in that first pose, okay? All right, so I'm going to draw in a body first, and then I'll draw in the head. Okay, so body and then the head. All right, let's see. I'll take the uh, character here and just move it down a little bit, not too far down. Um, let's go ahead and put in some hair. Put in some eyes, nose, nice little smile here and I'm going to erase the excess line here and over here okay so let's draw in the contact pose so for the contact pose I'm gonna have uh, the front leg right here coming down and the foot coming up like that something like this and then on the back leg here, I'm going to have this leg, this foot is coming down and contacting the ground like that. Okay. So now we want to differentiate the, which leg is closer to us, the viewer. Okay. So we don't want to have both the legs just reaching the bottom of the body. So I'm going to make the, the back leg here closer to us. Okay. So that makes this character, that means this is his right leg and this is his left leg. All right. So now I'm going to put in uh, some arms here. So I'll draw in an arm position here, and then there's another arm on the back of the body coming out like that. Okay. So here we have our contact pose. Now I'm going to skip two frames and go to frame four, and I'll right click and insert a keyframe here. And the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to move the character down because the whole overall body goes down for the second pose. All right, so I'm going to go down a little bit here. And now I'm going to take my lasso tool and I'll get rid of the legs here. Okay. And I want to think about where I'm going to move the next position here. So, I'm going to bring this leg forward a little bit and bend the leg. All right. So, And then this leg, uh, I'll also bring forward a little bit, and I'll bend it here, and there we have our down pose. Okay, so now I'll go in and I'll erase the old lines from the previous legs. All right, so now I'm going to determine um, the position of the arm. All right, so I'm going to erase everything but the very where the shoulder would be. I, I want to keep that. I want to know where the shoulder is on the body. 
and I'll erase here. So in this position, the arms are going to come up just slightly. So I'll turn on my onion skin here so I can see the previous frame. All right, so here I want to make sure that even though the shoulder is lower, the arm is going to come up a little bit, just a little bit higher. Okay, and then over here, I need to erase. And I'll bring this arm also up a little bit, just a tiny bit. All right, so now we have two poses here. We've got our contact and our down pose. Okay, so now we're gonna go to frame seven and I'm gonna insert a new keyframe here. And this pose is going to go back to pretty much the same height as the contact pose. I'm going to just move this back up a little bit. And again, uh, let's see. Let's figure out where the legs are going to go. So um, I'll erase the majority of the legs here. Now, this leg right here, the back leg, it's going to come forward. It's going to be up in the air like so, okay. This leg is gonna be kind of coming straight down. All right, so now we've got our legs positioned, and now I can erase kind of the position of where the legs previously were, okay. Again, I'm gonna erase the arm except for the shoulder. I wanna know where the shoulder is, the location. And um, let's see, I'll erase everything but the very end of that. All right, so the arm in this position right here, I want to bring the arm down. All right, so I'm going to just bring it down a little bit. So starting at the shoulder, I'll bring that down. And I'll also make sure that the other arm over here is also coming down more. Okay, so I'll erase the rest of this over here. All right, so now we've got one, four, and seven. So now I'm gonna go to frame 10, and I'm going to right click, and again, insert keyframe. Now this position is gonna be higher, so I'm gonna go up, I'm using the arrows on the keyboard to go up a little bit. This is my highest position. And again, I'm gonna come in with my lasso tool, and I'm gonna erase the legs, okay? And the leg on the ground is going to come back a little bit here, and it's going to be kind of elevating the body here. And then this leg coming forward, I'll bring it forward a little bit more, and we'll just kind of kick it up a little bit higher. Okay, so I've got my legs positioned. I'm now going to erase the old indicators of the other leg from the previous frame, okay? All right, so now, again, I want to keep the shoulder, and um, let's see, we'll erase here, and here, okay? So I'm going to bring this arm down some more, and the uh, other arm on the other side as well, okay? All right, so we've got the majority of the work done. Um, we've got our four poses here. We've got one, four, seven, and 10, okay? So this is the contact pose, the down pose, the passing pose, and the up pose, okay? So now what I can do is, um, if you have time, you'd wanna go in and, and draw these frames, the same poses again, but slightly different. But in the interest of uh, saving time, because this is a tutorial, uh, I'm just going to copy and paste these poses. So I'll take the frame one here, and I'll copy it. And I'll go to 13, and I'll paste. All right, so 1 and 13 are the same pose, except for the arms are switched. So the silhouette's the same, but the arms and legs are switched. So I'll take my eraser here, and I'm just going to erase here take my paintbrush and just draw in so now that the right leg is forward instead of back. 
Okay. So I'm going to take the eraser here and erase everything but the, the shoulder here. And then I'm going to leave this little part of the hand that's sticking out. I'll leave that in place. And what I want to do is now bring the arm and connect it this way. Okay. So I'm going to take the arm and go like this. And then what I'll do is I'll take the uh, hand here. I'll just make it a little bit shorter. Okay. Cool. Just make a slight little adjustment there. All right, so that looks good. So we've got frame one. You can see the arms and legs are now switching positions between one and 13. Okay. So now I'm going to go over to frame four. And what I'll do here is, again, I'll copy and paste. So I'll right click and go to copy. And then I'll go to frame 16. And I'll right click and go to paste. All right, so again, I'll take my eraser and I'll erase the leg right here. And then I'll switch to the brush and bring the uh, this leg up a little bit. All right. So if we go from 16 back to four, you can see there's the leg switching positions. And then on the arms, I'll switch to my eraser here. I'm gonna erase this part of the arm. And we'll connect going this way. And now I'll erase that right there, and we'll just make this a little bit shorter. Cool. All right, so now if I go back to frame four, I can see the arms are also switching positions. All right, so now I'm going to go to frame seven. This is my passing pose. I'll copy this frame and go to frame 19, and I'm going to paste. All right, so once again, I need to flip this stuff. So. Let me draw this in right here, the brush tool. I'll take my eraser and erase this. And then we'll erase here. And I'll bring my brush tool and bring that up. So now this is a mirror image of frame seven. You can see the arms and legs are switching positions, okay? So now I'm going to go to frame 10 and I'll copy this. So I'll go to copy and then I'll go to frame 22 and I'll paste. All right, so let me take this. I'll draw in the arm here. Take my eraser and erase here. And let's see, we'll erase the leg here take our brush tool and add that over there. Okay, so now we've got a mirror image of frame 10. And then frame one is the same as frame 25. So I'll copy that and I'll go to frame 25 and I'll paste. So now I can turn on my looping and go from frame one to 24. Okay, because 25 is the same. And I can play this. So I'll zoom out a little bit here and I'll hit play. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. I'm Mr. H, and if you want to see more Flash tutorials, go ahead and click on the link in the description. It'll take you directly to my channel.